everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about another small pen. Yes, it is the month or multiple months of small pens. Today I am talking about a Pilot pen and this is a Pilot Stella 90S or sometimes it's known as the Stargazer. Now this is a Pilot pen that is very small and it is also sadly discontinued. Uh, I still want to talk about it because they are pretty fun and they have the cutest little gold nib. So let's go switch a shot and look at it. All right, here we are with a close-up of the Stella 90S or Stargazer, depending on the market. Um, I believe it was a Stella 90S in Japan and the Stargazer in the US. Um, this is a black version with rhodium tr trim. This version, however, is not like fully, fully black. There is some like shimmer to the body, which makes it look really interesting. Um, this pen uh, is discontinued, alas. I think if you look for, uh, on eBay um, for a little bit, you might be able to find one. Um, but yeah, it's not a pen that you can buy in like a regular pen store right now, sadly. Um, it retailed, I believe, for 130. I saw one that sold secondhand for about 80. So if you find one, um, that'll be a good price. Now. I grabbed a Twist B Mini to show you the size difference because this is a tiny pilot. And as you can see, it is slightly bigger than the Twist B Mini. Um, it is really negligible, so the sizes are very, very similar. Um, clip on this, very usable. I like the clip on this. It's a flat top pen. Uh, not a cigar shape, which I also like. I'm a big fan of flat tops. And then the trim is all rhodium. And then on, if it focuses, on the cap band, it says still on 90S. And then Pilot Japan. And this pen comes with a gold nib. I think it's one of Pilot's smallest gold nibs. And this is a number three nib. Um, this is a fine. Um, and it is actually quite a small nub and of a nib. Now, it's really nice to write with. It's a really good writer. But let's put it next to a Faber-Castell nib. <laughs> yes, I have a Faber-Castell nib on my Twisby. Um, and you can see that that is slightly bigger than the Pilot Gold nib. Writing experience is, of course, completely different. This is a cartridge converter pen, so I currently have a, I think this is a Con 40 in here. I really hate filling these, um, but it is what it is. Not a lot of ink left in there, but that's okay. And yeah, it's a really nice pen. Uh, what I feel to mention now, just now, is that this is a snap gap, which is really cool. A lot of the gold nib uh, pilot pens are screw caps. This is like a snap cap, so you can pull it out for a quick writing thing. Um, I don't know how I would feel um, about having that in my pocket. I think a screw cap would be slightly better for that, but it is a, a very secure ca uh, cap. So it's not just going to fall off. So I think it would be fine. One thing that kind of irritates me is that you can rotate the cap. I don't know if that's a normal thing, but it just bothers me that it's easily rotatable. Um, I've seen this on one other pen before, and it was a, a Lamy Ion, and it just bothers me. Anyway, let's go for a writing sample um, of this Q pen. Uh, let me show you also the pen length unposted to see how it compares to the Twisby Mini. It's very comparable still. I think that basically they're the same length, which is cool. Now, you post this by pushing it on. Of course, the Twisby Mini is a screw to post. And then if you look at that, then the Mini is quite substantially larger. So if you like the Mini uh, posted, you might not like the Pilot. It might still be a little short for you. I think it's fine. Uh, to be fair, I don't post the Twisby Mini. Uh, I write with it unposted. Anyway, 
This is the length of the pin uh, posted. This is the length of the pin unposted. As you can see, I can just use this unposted. And that's what I tend to do. So I think we should just go for a writing sample. All right, time for some writing. Uh, as you can see, I'm using it unposted because that is how I prefer to write even with most pocket pens. There are some pocket pens that are just too small. This one is fine. The Pilot Stella 90S or alternatively the Pilot Stargazer. And I like the name Pilot Stargazer much more. It sounds much more fun. Um, this is a 14K nib and it's a fine. I don't say this is a true fine. Um, it is a lovely writer. It's not overly wet or dry. It's like middle of the road type writing. And I have inked it with one of my favorite inks, which is Cross Violet. As you guys know, that is like one of my favorite purples. Aside from Lamy Dark Lilac, I really love this ink. Um, pen feels really balanced. Only thing, only gripe I have is with the grip and that is because it's really smooth plastic. So if you have like a little bit um, sweaty hands, um, it slides around a little bit. But generally I'm fine, fine using it, but that could be a thing you don't like. Uh, I wouldn't really push this nib. It's not made to be pushed. Um, like, if you are careful, you can get some more ink on the page. But this is just a quick write pen and not a flexi pen. It wasn't meant to be a flexi pen. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little review of a sadly discontinued pen. Um, it is a really fun pen to write with. As I said, only uh, thing I have that bothers me about the writing is the grip that can be really slick. And then the other thing that isn't really my cup of tea is the, this, the, the turning of the cap. But that is just it. The rest of it, I really like. I love the look of the pen, I love the writing, uh, and I guess the writing is just the main thing, right? Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time with another normal pen or pocket pen. All right, bye-bye.